this section is about hypothesis testing. Hypothesis testing is a key skill when it comes to empirical analysis in economics. And it's being used in a range of areas. For instance, think about, that's a more non-economic topic, clinical trials. When scientists try to establish if a certain medication or a certain vaccine makes a significant difference to whether people become ill or get better. In fact, many of such questions can in the end be formulated in a regression framework. So we will also think about how to do hypothesis testing in a regression framework because parameters in a regression can tell you, for instance, if this is done uh, correctly and cleverly, whether a tax on alcohol reduces consumption of alcohol, or perhaps even whether a certain teaching method, like presenting material mainly via online lessons and then supporting with reviewing Q&A sessions, whether that works or not. Not all of these questions are actually very easy to, uh, to answer empirically, but in the end, this will always come down to hypothesis testing. Now, in order to make hypothesis testing work, we will have to apply what we learned in previous lessons, descriptive statistics and probability, and in particular, what we learned in our lesson on sampling distributions. Because sampling distributions allowed us to draw a connection from a population to a sample. And we will now use this connection in the reverse way. We will use it to take a sample of information and use the information that's contained in that sample to make a statement, a probabilistic statement only, but nevertheless a statement about some unknown property in the population. In this lesson we will mainly think about the mean of a population as that unknown property. We don't know it, we'll use a sample to learn something about the mean of a certain random variable in the population. 